So since in the last video, I went over some diets to get rid of that adorable little muffin top you got, this one we're going over some ab exercises that are gonna tear them up because while they're simple to train, you probably don't hit them this hard. Let's get after it. So after this video, if you're not sitting there thinking, God, my abs haven't been this sore since the last time I tried to suck my own I didn't do my job because abs are one of those rare muscle groups that you don't need to dedicate an entire day to. You can easily piggyback them on any other training day because mostly what we talked about last time, abs aren't made in the gym. They're made by keeping your chubby ass out of the kitchen in the middle of the night, but also because if you're taking a minute or two minutes between each set, you're training them wrong. You need to bring that same, I'm gonna hurt myself mentality from leg day to abs, but give yourself a time limit. I think that's why there's so many clickbaity titles on YouTube for ab training that resemble the seven minute abs from Something About Mary because you shouldn't be in the gym training abs for an hour. Now, I also think you shouldn't probably have a title that says melt fat or shed fat, but I'm just as guilty. I still haven't decided what I'm going to title this yet. It's either going to be that time I crunch so hard I back peed or the ab workout that's so difficult that your dad will finally be proud of you. So the first exercise is going to be a refresher for anybody that was in the 30-day program, which shouldn't be a problem because it seemed to be a lot of people's favorite. By favorite, I mean everybody hated me for it because instead of doing the typical three sets of 20 or whatever you do, you're gonna pick a ridiculously high number that you gotta cross your nuts and hope you can reach and not stop until you get there. Specifically, I'm strapping into a pull-up bar doing hanging leg raises until I get to 50 reps, which brings me back to the benefits of training abs after you've worked out another body part, because imagine doing this on back day. Not only is this gonna to torture abs, but you're gonna get at least 60 seconds in a dead hang on those lats after you trained them. Since ab training can be so simplistic and you pair that with the fact that when your abs say they're done, they're done. There's no cranking on another rep. You're on your back rolling around on the floor looking like an asshole, regretting the fact that you ever laughed at a Life Alert commercial. And because of those two things, I see a lot of people get complacent with their ab training. They forget all the amazing techniques they use on other body parts. So instead of doing traditional crunches until your abs say, not today, you can build in a mechanical drop, starting with the hardest movement first, like sitting back at a 45 degree angle, holding that trunk in place and extending and flexing over top. And then once you fail, go right into regular sit-ups where you'll inevitably fail again. And then you could finish them off by looking just about as cool as the guy that shadow boxes in the mirror at the gym by doing crunches where there's barely any movement. You're just tilting back and forth, but by this point, you're so screwed, it doesn't matter. And if all else fails, we can bring the old Muhammad Ali adage into play where you don't count the reps until they start to hurt. And we can do that before we even start the movement by pre-exhausting with a static hold. Now, if you're like me and most people, just breathing and holding that static contraction is enough to tear you up. Now, if you have really strong abs and, or just insignificant legs, then you might wanna do a little micro contraction or a little partial reps as you're sitting there. And then once you fail on those, get into the full movement. So if you haven't got a chance to check it out and you're crazy enough to do it, I'll link the program below. Also, if you didn't check out last video, you're gonna wanna watch that because if you pair it with this video, then you will be a chubby mess no more. And most importantly, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.